Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Ford Tech Make Your Loco channel. Today we're going to fix a real common issue on the 04 to 2008 new body style F-150s that you see here. Yep, you guessed it. The fuel doors on these like to break. I've changed countless fuel doors on these things. Uh, what happens is that you go get fuel one day, you go to fill it up, put the cap back on, and you go to close it, and a darn thing out of nowhere no longer latches. And the reason being is there's a spring inside of here that returns that door and holds it closed and it's broken, okay? These older trucks like this, they do not latch right here into the housing like in a lot of the newer Fords. It's a much more complex spring in the door uh, design here. So you see a spring right here? This is what breaks off of there. And a lot of times it breaks right here. Now the fix is to replace the entire housing, which is good because it's all inclusive, all new. Um, it's about $30 or so, and it takes about five minutes to change out. We're going to walk you through it today, though, to show you the exact method that I use to make sure you get that door off of there without actually tearing up the paint around it. These snap in real tight, so you want to get it off there and swap it out without damaging any of the paint on your box here. Um, the door on here does get swapped over to your new housing, so don't worry about buying a new uh, door on here and getting the paint to match. It does swap over. We're going to do that later so we don't damage that also. There's a method to the madness here. Um, that looks like a goblin right there, and it's kind of freaking me out behind me. Yeah. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the whole procedure up close so you guys can see, and then we're going to stand back. We're going to show you exactly how to do it in real time. So at first, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here. You're going to use your cat claw. You're going to get in here, you're going to pop that, you're going to unscrew this cap and get it out of here, okay? And then you'll see inside here there's uh, three 5.5 millimeter or 7 millimeter screws, okay? They're all around there in like a triangle. You want to take those out. That'll unscrew the filler pipe down below from it, okay? That'll get that separated. And then at that point, we're going to come in here and we're going to take two 2x4s, two by four, uh, two by fours, two flathead screwdrivers, and we're gonna stick them in these slots right here, okay? And we're gonna pull down. And then we're gonna tilt the whole housing out like this from the top, and then we're gonna lift it a little bit, and then it'll come out from the bottom here. Because the bottom hooks in, whereas the top latches in, okay? And then we're gonna take the whole thing, you gotta kinda wiggle it and angle it and get it out of there, because it kinda hooks inside of there. We'll get it out of the way, and then we'll transfer this fuel door right here on the bench so we don't ruin it, okay? That's the gist of it. So let's go ahead and step back and watch it all happen. All right, here we go. Hopefully I don't get in the way, but again, I showed you up close. This is how it looks in real time. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab our cat claw. We'll come in this way so we don't scratch the paint. When it pops, and we'll just get it loose. Unscrew it, goodbye, Mr. Cap. And then we'll take a seven miller 5.5 millimeter. We'll loosen all three screws. Just make sure you don't drop them down the filler pipe. It's exposed now. Okay, and that'll separate the fuel filler pipe from the door itself. Now at this point, it's basically it's snapped in the body. So we're gonna use, uh, we're gonna try these two different flat blade screwdrivers. And the point is to get in there and kind of hook them and bring them down far enough. It doesn't matter how far you bend them and you know, even if you snap them off uh, because we're replacing it, you know. You basically get them in there far enough like that. Don't forget this side. You want to do both at the same time. Trust me. Get in here. And then the whole thing will lean out like that. The top is now disconnected. So let's get these tools out of the way okay and like I said the bottom here just hooks in just drops in kind of hooks in, the top snaps in so at this point we need to pull this whole housing out this whole shebang and you can see how it hooks into like that with the fuel neck in the way that's gonna be the hardest part so we'll kind of just get it past the fuel filler neck first on here and it'll work it out of there. It's just, like I said, gonna be the hardest part. So I mean, once it starts popping like that, we're working it past, but watch the ping, you know? 
this stuff's gonna come in, in spurts like that. And you can also reach down here. This thing's kind of loose right now. It's attached to um, part of the um, frame down there, the body. And we get that out of the way, and we'll do a little more wiggling here. There we go. And that's, you know, you see, hopefully you can see that. I just grabbed it down below. I'm moving it out of the way down and out of the way a little bit. And that's the point. You get this thing out of there without damaging the body. So on this one, it broke on the pivot right there. See a pivot right there? That's all broken. Yeah. So just go ahead and we'll just swap the whole thing out. Next, we're going to show you how to get this door off of there uh, without damaging anything because this thing snaps in real tight too. Next, we need to remove the old filler door that's painted to match your vehicle's body. We're going to remove it from the old housing so that later on we can swap it over to the new housing. The way this works is this door right here slides up and away from the housing and the housing slides down and away from the door. That's how they separate on here. What you need to do is grab the housing, okay? We're gonna take a long flat blade screwdriver. There's a center slot right here. You can see it on there. You go way down in there with your flat blade screwdriver, okay? And that's gonna release a locking tab inside of there. Get it way down in there. We have our grip on the door ready with our one hand. We're gonna take our thumb and hold pressure on the screwdriver to keep that released. And then we're gonna take the housing with our other hand and we're just gonna kind of grab them and pull them apart from each other and separate, wiggle and separate. And it looks a little something like this. You gotta keep that thing released. It's gonna be a fight. There you go. It's released. We can take our door, toss our old housing. And what you wanna do is make sure this area inside here is not full of dirt uh, so that locks into the new housing and is secure. Right now, we're just going to clean this up and put it to the side, okay? Let's go back to the vehicle. We'll install the housing first, and then this will go in dead last. All right, here we go. Let's get it installed. We're going to show you in real time how to get it in there with all my tips and tricks. As you guys probably already noticed, the door is not on there. You want to keep the door off of there until dead last. We're just going to install the housing for right now. Now, if you didn't do it already, you want to make sure the flange on here is nice and clean like this. I just use glass cleaner and clean it up real nice, and even on the uh, filler neck right here. So everything kind of goes back in nice and flush and secure. What we're going to do is we're going to take the housing, we're going to keep the door in. You don't want to pull it out like that. Keep it inside of there, and we're gonna, just going to work it into there. Remember, we're going to hook it into there, and then we're going to set it down on down here, and then we're going to push it back and snap it in up here. All right, here we go. Now again, you want to kind of just get this in here, get it hooked first, and then we'll worry about this right here, this drain right here, this little point right here for the drain. Get inside of here, we're gonna grab that fuel filler neck, get it out of the way the best we can, and then we're gonna start working this thing in. And again, it's gonna be tight, it's awkward, especially with that housing, or that filler neck in the way. All right, there we go. We're past it down here. Now at this point, we can kind of let go of the, the neck on there, and it'll be out of our way. All right, so here we go. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna make sure it's hooked in down here, okay? Our neck's in there, we're good to go with that. Down here, we're gonna make sure it's hooked in. Right here is a notch to locate it. We're in there. Get it in. Looks good, looks good. We're in right here too. And we're gonna start working it back up top here. And I kind of move a few things around all at once to get this thing aligned up right and locked in. So we're kind of going up, to up top there. We're gonna make sure we're way down over here. Okay. And then up top here, we can do that final push so we can hear it snap. Just like that. Get this up and out of the way. 
and get them snapped in like that. There we go. And you just gotta keep moving stuff around on here, okay? This one's really tight against the filler neck, just the way it is. Um, it's a little harder to make sure this stuff is snapped. But you'll see down here with your finger, you can tell it's flush. We're, of course, aligned over here. And, of course, we're snapped in up here. Good to go. Now, at this point, I pull this out of the way. We get our three screws in here for our filler neck. You want to get them started so you can get the others aligned. We're just gonna get them started like that. Don't tighten them yet. We get a third one in here. There. There. Next, we're going to install our cap. I'm electing to change it out. Uh, just as a side note here, fuel filler caps generally do not cause EVAP leaks on Fords. It's been my experience. So if you have EVAP leaks on Fords, uh, don't go right for the cap. Go for the canister, vent, solenoid. So that's secure. Got it secure over here. Everything else looks good to go. You can pop that door on. All right, now again, this door goes in the same way. You get your notches on here, you want to line up. Put your further out, right about there. Make sure it lines up top and bottom. It's a little tricky doing it backwards. We're lined up, we fell in now. At this point, we can push it back until it locks in. Oh, yeah. That is the way to do it. I use a little bit of glass cleaner on there. Nice soft towel. We'll get the fingerprints off of there. Just like that. And there you have it. Fixed. Now, in reality, this, this takes, you know, maybe 15 minutes being nice and clean and make sure everything's perfect like I did. Uh, but you can do it real quick in like five minutes uh, if you had to, uh, just to get it in there and get it done. But there it is. And it's going to be good probably for the life of the vehicle at this point. Um, and your truck's back together once again. Hope this helped you guys. Fix your Ford yourself. I'll see you next time, guys.